Today's Joe Show is sponsored by Magnet LLC. Hi, I'm Joe Haley. Let's take a tour of South Philadelphia. Now we're going to head down Broad Street, make a left on the Patterson Avenue, and on our right we are going to see the Wells Fargo Center, which is home to the Philadelphia Flyers. Continuing down Patterson, on our left we have Citizens Bank Park, where the Philadelphia Phillies play, which is right across the street from Lincoln Financial Field, home of the Philadelphia Eagles. Now what do all these venues have in common? Well, they're all sponsored by major financial institutes, and that's what we're going to talk about today on The Joe Show, the financial market, straight ahead. Okay, let's check out the financial industry. Now, according to Counselor State of the Industry Survey, it is the number two market that distributors sell to. But let's look at some of the numbers. More than 9,000 banks are FDIC banks in the United States. And this is according to the investment company Factbook. There's more than 16,000 investment firms. Now, also think about all those credit unions out there, the tens of thousands of them, and it's a pretty big market. But the people, too. 1.3 million accountants and auditors, and this is according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistic. And according to the Financial Planning Association, they have 100 chapters with 25,000 members, and those people are financial planner professionals. Now, when you take this into consideration with the institutions that are big enough to sponsor major sports teams, small enough to sponsor neighborhood sports teams, and all the people in there, there's big, big opportunity for distributors in this industry. Okay, let's talk big bank versus small bank. Big banks, Citizens Bank, okay, they sponsor the Phillies and their ballpark, but at the ballpark, there is a row of fans that each game will be the Citizens Bank fans of the game. They get a tote bag with a bunch of imprinted products inside. They're big, they can do this. But smaller banks, local banks, they too have a need for sponsorship. Think of all those small sports leagues and teams and clubs in the area. They need sponsors. They need sponsors for jerseys. They need sponsors around their ballparks. The smaller banks are going to do this. While they can't sponsor big sports venues, they certainly can be a neighborhood bank and sponsor those small sports venues. And it's your job to get out there and let them know that where their money would be well spent when it comes to PR and marketing. All right, so we got banks, we have CPA firms, we have CPAs who work on their own, we have financial, personal financial consultants, professionals, and they all have a need to promote and in different ways. Now, bank might want to promote to kids to teach them how to save money. They also might want to promote to those parents to get them in a mindset of saving for college. Now, the personal financial advisor might work with people and get them to save for the retirement. Also looking at mortgages, and a bank also has mortgage services too, so they need to promote that. Also, there's a lot of different areas. Car loans, it's important that people talk about their car loans and what they uh, have there in that offering, and also home equity loans. So there's a lot of different products that the banks, CPA firms, what they can do for people, helping them with their tax, especially this time of year, and also for those personal financial advisors. They need to promote those services, and it might be best to do that with a promotional product, and we'll look at some of those later. But let's also look at some of the other things. Now, a friend of mine, he is an accountant, and he works with a firm that has big, major clients. In the summer, he takes all his clients out golfing, and in the holiday season, at the end of the year, he takes them all out to lunch. He gives them a gift at the holiday season, and he always brings golf products with him on the golf course. Now, if you're working with any of these type of people, CPAs who work for a large firm, CPA who works for themselves, you might want to consider telling them that, letting them know that maybe if you take your clients golfing, you have something for them. And at the holiday time, when you take them out to lunch or you visit them at the holiday time, make sure you have an imprinted product to give them as a gift. Now, when we come back, we are going to look at some actual dates and some ideas for promoting for your clients on those dates. Okay, let's look at some dates that are great for promotions for your financial clients. And these come to us courtesy of Chase's Calendar of Events. It's a great book that has a lot of ideas in there. And we'll start off with January as Financial Wellness Month. Now, what I like about this, it's great to start the year thinking about your finances. Banks can run promotions. CPA firms, CPAs can run promotions. And so can personal financial advisors run promotions and say, let's look at our finances for this year and what we're going to do that makes sense. They can use a personal financial journal or ledger to give out to their clients to motivate them. 
Next, February is National Weddings Month. Now, I know a lot of people might not be getting married in February. June is very popular, as are the fall months, September and October. But if you're getting married later on in the year, you still need to start thinking about planning for that. So again, banks and CPAs and personal financial advisors can talk to their clients about the importance of starting to put the money away now. You have receptions, you have honeymoons, taxes, everything that's going to be involved, you need to start saving. March is Credit Education Month. Great time to market to school children. Get them interested in opening a savings account. The importance of saving money, putting it away for a rainy day. This is a great idea for any bank to do. And let's look at October. It's Strategic Planning Month. Now, what I like about this is it gets anyone to start thinking about the following year. So CPA companies and personal financial advisors can work with their clients to look at next year's budget, what they want to do financially next year, how much money they want to bring in, how much money is okay to go out. Start thinking about it in October. So again, get out there and they need to get out there and they need to market their products and services that they can offer to their clients. And the distributor, you can help them do that. When we come back after hearing a message from today's Joe Show sponsor, we are going to look at some products that actually work great for this market. And now two products from today's Joe Show sponsor, Magnet LLC. What I'm showing you here, this is a postcard, it's a marketing mailer, and attached to it is a magnet, so it enhances the value of this postcard. The uh, bank or financial institution's message is going to be sent via this postcard, and then when the user gets it, they're going to be able to take the magnet off, put it on a refrigerator or a filing cabinet. So the information that they actually get on the card is going to be reinforced with the magnet. Okay, so now let's look at some products that are great for the financial market. First, let's start off with a pen. And of course, pens are used at every bank. This is a nice, handsome looking click pen. You can get it in your bank clients' uh, colors. Also good for anyone in the financial industry. CPAs can use this, give them out to clients when they're doing tax work with, uh, for them, and also good for uh, personal financial advisors to give out to their clients. Okay, if you're looking for something for your bank client to give to kids to get them interested in a savings uh, program, a savings account, this little plush character, it is a dollar, and you'll see that it's a lot of fun looking, and the band comes off in the front. So I think the kids are really going to like this guy, and it will get them interested in a savings account. Okay, so calendars are traditional, and I think that's a traditional product for banks. And the reason that they're traditional and banks order them year after year is because they work. So you might want to show this to your bank customers, also do your CPA firms and your personal financial advisors. Okay, personal financial advisors, I like this idea. This is the home budget workbook, and inside it's going to have sheets that show people how to set up a budget for their home use. So again, great for CPAs if they're doing people's personal uh, taxes. Also good for those uh, personal financial advisors to give out. Now these are pretty neat. It comes in a little bag here, and it's great for anyone who works with corporations, bank that work with cor uh, corporations and CPA firms. And inside these are all uh, paper clips. If I can get one out couple here. They're in the shape of dollar bills, so it can be save your money by investing your money with our uh, corporation. Now, we talked about bankers and uh, CPAs who take their clients and personal financial advisors who take their clients golfing and giving them something as a golf gift. Now, this is pretty high end. You can get individual golf uh, gifts like a, a pack of balls or a tea set, but how about this one? It's all wrapped up in one, two. First, I'm going to take off the top part. This is actually a ball cleaner. I'm going to open this up, and it's a ball and club cleaner. And inside, you're going to see that there's little brushes here. So a ball, club gets put, put inside where there's, there's water, and it's going to clean off so the golfer on the course is going to have a clean golf ball. Also inside this kit, you have a golf towel, okay? We've got a, a cap, and again, it can all carry the, the same brand and logo. We've got glasses, sun, sunglasses for golfing. But we have a little marker here, of course, with a clip that, and this is for a golfer to mark their golf ball. If everyone gets the same sleeve of balls, how do you tell whose ball's who? Well, golfers will mark their ball with some type of symbol. And again, we have a tee pack in here with tees, a divot tool, and a ball marker for a green. So it all comes in one tube, and it'd be a great gift for your uh, financial market clients to give to their clients when they go golfing. And we also talked about them sponsoring local youth sports teams, and this would be a great thing to do for a team that maybe makes it to the championship. This bag, uh, all athletes need bags, and this is great for road trips and away trips. There's lots of pockets on the sides. 
And in the front here, ample room for equipment, cleats, whatever they need to put inside. Okay, those are all the products I wanted to show you for the financial market. Now remember, you need to do your work here. Nothing's just going to fall into your lap. Go into your phone book, look for the financial institutions in your area, look for the banks, the local banks, homegrown banks, look for CPAs, CPA firms, talk to them. Tell them why they need to uh, advertise, how you can help them with their advertising and their promotion. And maybe you'll make some nice money in 2011 in the financial market. Well, thanks a lot for watching. This is ASI TV. Thank you.